Hey guys, what's up, Yo Wolf here, and welcome back to CMP Seed Tutorials. Today, guys, I have a very special CMP Seed Tutorial for you. This was suggested by Nightmare2364, and he basically asked how to move an NPC after you complete a quest for them. So right here, we have our NPC, his name is Sparrow, and if you ask him, can you disappear, please, you will get this new quest that says test. Now, if I go over here in order to complete test, and right here, walk over this to location block, finishing up the quest, and I turn around, you'll notice that he has actually changed positions. Uh, how did I do this, guys? No, it was not witchcraft or anything. Before I show you everything, let me just first reset all NPCs, and let me show you what you have to do in order to do this. So guys, this does require a few command block commands, but it's only two, and it's basically the same command over and over. So don't worry, guys, I'll show that to you right now. All you have to do in order to actually add this functionality to your quest is to go to your quest right here, go to advanced, edit, and then you go to console commands. Now right here, you just want to put slash set block, these numbers right here, this is going to be different for everyone, guys. These are your X, Y, and Z coordinates. So you don't know how to bring up coordinates, just click F3 on your computer and it will bring them up. And you're basically going to want to put that wherever the redstone block's going to spawn. I'll explain that in a second. And then right afterwards, you just put redstone underscore block. Now, what does that redstone block actually do? Basically, for my coordinates, if I turn on F3 right here, you'll see that I'm standing in that exact position that I just said. And whenever this redstone block spawns in, it's going to send out a redstone signal to these three different paths. Now this one right here, guys, activates the first piston, which is going to drop the original NPC down. Now the second redstone path right here is going to actually turn off this piston, dropping this NPC down onto the ground floor in order for him to stand right here. So it's the same NPC look. You want to make them look similar if you want it to represent the same NPC and all that stuff, guys. But it's a good little illusion. And then this last redstone path right here, I have a few repeaters just in order to delay the signal. And that is actually sent to this command block, which will do the exact same command in the exact same area. Instead, at the end, instead of redstone block, just set it to air in order to reset this entire thing. That way, the pistons retract and everything's basically hidden. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions on how this works, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions on things you want to see done, just leave them in the comments as well. I try to get it to as many as possible. I still have one more I need to do on random dialogue which I'll hopefully be able to get out soon. But thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Buh. Bye.